quick episode here outside. So just a change of scenery. There's gonna be a lot of background noise. You'll pro probably hear birds. Pretty cool though. Now the first thing I would focus on here is graphite tools, especially these rods, because you can get them very cheap, just a few dollars. And if you're looking to make pushes or uh, this one I've made into like a little uh, a shaping tool, uh, it's pretty easy and cheap to do to do that with some sandpaper. I'll be doing a video about that too later. And this is a six inch graphite plate. You would do a lot of marvering on it. I do recommend picking up the one foot square plate. It gives you a large surface area to work with. It's just really nice to have on your desk. And then the graphite paddles, which you can get in different sizes. That's something you could make yourself, but that's a little bit more tricky. And starting out with marbles, you can actually work them quite a bit without a mold and get them pretty much all the way finished. I mean, it is good to get one though, to kind of learn how to use it, practice with it. And of course, uh, tweezers. You've seen me use these a lot in my videos. They're very cheap and versatile tool. I definitely recommend the serrated kind because the non-serrated will tend to slip very easily. Now a good pair of claw grabbers can be a great tool to get. Starting out, I use aluminum barbecue tongs and that was actually a pretty bad idea. So it really soaked up the glass pretty bad and it created a line of stress along those edges. And of course for flaring, you have your choice of the, the jack style um, or uh, the brass reamer. Now real quick, these are two different tools uh, but they do kind of bridge towards the same applications. And although it's good to have both, I would get the jacks if I were you for right now. And these gong tools are pretty nice to have. They, they are a little bit hard to use. They take a little bit of practice to get used to. And it's good to wax them up with that beeswax, of course. And the next up, we got the didenium glasses to stop the sodium flare. I'm going to talk more about that in a safety video. And then you have a few options, though, uh, to get, you know, these UV add-ons which are pretty cheap and convenient, or uh, the face shield, which is what I kind of prefer in the, uh, for overall protection. Although you haven't really seen me use a lot of gloves, it is a good idea. You know, for me, I ju just haven't found a good fit. When I am working with the kiln though, I definitely throw a pair on because to get your hand anywhere near that door, it just gets really, really hot. Now a good reason to wear the gloves isn't exactly for direct contact with hot glass, but for the radiant heat that, that comes off. So you can protect your skin from the UV damage. And thanks for watching this episode of Glassmith. I hope you enjoyed it and picked up something useful. Go ahead and hit that like button and check out some of these other videos or see what's coming up next. Next up, a quick look at flaring tubing.